nice to see you all thank you for popping in if you're watching this on the replay i know a few of you don't always get to the lives but uh, you are nonetheless very appreciated for coming in and watching the replay so i had been watching this morning a fab little video by sam calcutt from mixed up craft she's uh, got a youtube channel she's not a stamping up demonstrator but she does seem to influence a lot of demonstrators with her amazing sort of 3d cards and things like that and there's been one doing the rounds the pinwheel card now i don't know if it came from her but um see she certainly has shown it and i this is the finished card that i started on what was it thursday night when i rushed off i'm so sorry i had to rush off because i i thought i had a zoom class uh conference call at uh, 11 o'clock and it, I it turned out i'd read the email wrong and it had been the day before so i could have stayed and, and shown you how i finished this but anyway so basically it's you make a square and then you stick pieces on and that's a pinwheel card so today i'm attempting something a little bit more complicated than this i'm going to do a six sided pinwheel card rather than a four sided one okay so that's what we're going to attempt to do and i did have a kind of idea for it and i wanted to perhaps use the dragonfly garden in it might still do that but we'll see but this arrived today so i thought it would be nice to have a play with this now this you won't have heard it from my channel you may have heard it from other people but this is an early release from the mini catalog that's coming in january this is available to demonstrators currently but uh so if you're a demonstrator you can order it or if you want to sign up you can actually order this and the suite there's some papers and other lovely things to go with it you can actually order it as part of your kit so if you're interested drop me a line and let me know what you think and whether or not you really want to get your hands on this so also with the stamp set there is a die set that i have been using to cut out some gorgeous bits and pieces here look at that look at that isn't that pretty and we're going to be using that for our panels and there are other dies here which i can't wait to have a little play with i don't have anything else really like this in my collection so i thought i would have a play with it seeing as i've got a head start on it uh, but look forward to sort of incorporating this into various floral designs then this is a nice kind of label type thing to, to put your sentiments on right less of that i want to move on to just talking to you about planning for this pinwheel card so i have got sam's blog in front of me with all her measurements now she does her measurements in inches so if you do want to check that out um just look up mixed up craft mixed up craft.com and it's her blog post from the fifth oh gosh that's going back away 15th of may that's when she did that that blog post i am going to slightly adapt it for metric but um if you want to create this then you need to cut yourself a piece of cardstock measuring nine inches by six inches wide i've not done mine six inches i've done mine 14 and a half centimeters which is about five and three quarters just a kind of quarter of an inch shorter and then you need to cut yourself six pieces of now she says three by six but for those of you in the uk or using metric and a4 i will let you in on a little little secret what i did instead because we can't get two pieces of six inch card out of the length of here i just did 14 and a half centimeters okay then i cut seven centimeters so you get your six pieces out of one piece of card stock okay so you just cut down seven centimeters seven centimeters and then well actually i'll do 14 and a half first do 14 and a half first and then the seven and then you end up with and i will bring it on i feel like a proper blue peter presenter now doing all this no it's funny i think when i was a child i did want to be a blue peter presenter i think i am that now anyway <laughs> so you end up with six pieces like this and so i just wanted to show you where i am putting my die okay so i'm aiming the top of the die with the top of the cardstock here and there's like a little kind of leaf nub in here and I'm actually popping that just at the bottom like that. And so on this side, it's the pointy bit that's reaching. So I'm just 
putting that across like that and then I, I'm using a little piece of washi tape just to hold it all in place before I put it through the machine because knowing me the plates will move and then I'd have wasted a piece of cardstock so I'm just saving myself that sorrow <laughs> by gluing it by put a little bit of washi tape you know washi tape is pretty inexpensive so you know it's, it's worth it or you can use sticky note or whatever you want to use right so that's my number six piece i did start doing a bit of cutting before i came live and um, look at that it just pops out really easily this is using the stampin up cut and emboss machine if you have a sizzix machine or whatever you want to use you can you can use that too but look that just cuts out beautifully now the colors in the designer series paper that match this suite eden's garden uh, are very green so if you don't like green you you won't like the papers but there is also some gorgeous gold and, and things like that so i will get round to um linking actually the pdf with all the gorgeous pictures of the products uh, i will link it in this video and also i probably should get around to doing a blog post about it as well so i'll see how tomorrow goes i'll i'll try and get that done tomorrow actually i'll write that on a post-it note so i'll remember because i i do have a tendency to say i'll do certain things and then forget if i don't write them down so um what's it called eden's garden blog post i'll do that well i will put it in front of me and then hopefully i'll get around to doing it right unfortunately last few days I've, well <laughs> it feels like the last week i've kind of had all these intentions to get certain things done and then other things have cropped up right so here we have the this is going to be the pinwheel bit and so i've decided to just adapt the measurements just slightly because you know i can do that and so this is the length of the a4 I haven't cut it down at all because I've not done this before, so I don't want to cut it just yet. I'll let you know the measurements once I've done it, and then uh, we'll go from there. Right, I've just forgotten to say hello to everybody who are on the live, so I'll um, I'll do that now. And it's just coming up, so I'll read your co lovely comments. Oh, I just saw that Christine's not doing so good. Sorry about that. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Vicky. Christine. Sylvia, Martina, Anne, Deb, Catherine, Titi, Sheila B, Mindy B, Annie Wagner, Gloria, Ruthie, Anna, hi Anna, lovely to see you, Lindy, Claire, oh loads of people, Georgiana, wow, hi everybody, you're so welcome, lovely to see you all, hi Rose, Rosemary, Darlene, Bob. Okay, right. I'm going to get on and score this. So this measures, I said, fourteen and a half centimeters that way, and I'm going to score at three centimeters, six, nine. I'm not sure what size card this is going to end up making, but I, I'm just going to make it because sometimes it's fun to make these kind of cards. And you know what? We'll just have to figure out the envelope afterwards. So, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I got a feeling you then cut that bit off. Hold on. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, not yet. Don't cut it yet. Don't cut it yet. Yeah. Right. So score eighteen. And then we're going to go to 21. So I could have got this out of half a sheet that way. Oh, never mind. I've just wasted a little bit of... But anyway, we'll use that for something else. It's not wasted. I just realised I could have got that out of half a sheet of A4. But never mind. Oh, well. I'm sure if I like this card, I will be making more of these. I do tend to do that. I, a bit like recipes, you know, when you find a card style you like, it's worth making a few of them to really kind of set it into the brain, as it were. And then that way, if you ever need to make one without trying to sort of think about it too much, uh, you can do that. Is that correct? Yes, it's right. So six sided. Is that six sided? Yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvellous. Okay. 
So then the idea is that these then are going to get stuck onto this section here. Now I hear you say, but Ruth, that just looks so boring. It's just Merry Malo cardstock. What else are you going to do with that? Well, everybody, now I'm going to do a stamped one sheet wonder with the gorgeous new stamps. So Merry Malo is my base. So I do want to add a little bit of that colour in there, uh, a little hint of it. So guys, do you want to shout out some colours that might go with this? Kind of masculine cards. Let me know what you think. I've just realised I haven't brought my... Oh yes, I did bring my, my cleaning cloths in. I did. Right. Um, hi, Cindy Nielsen. Lovely to see you. Okay. Um, oh, what about the Lord, long forgotten Cajun crate? Let's, I know I'm trying to bring back the love for Cajun crates because it's so fabulous. A bit of pumpkin pie, maybe a bit of crushed curry. So all four of these colours are actually in the Regal's colour family. Okay, so if you're wondering about buying a, a set of the stamp, uh, sorry, ink pads, then this is this is from the Regals, so that you uh, you know. Right, I haven't got time to be sticking on stickers right now, so I'm just going to mount these stamps very quickly, and then um, we're a go, as they say. Right. Oh, I've just realised where I got that from. We were watching. We were watching that film about the three ladies that work for NASA. Hidden Figures. Is that right? Hidden Figures. Oh, it's such an inspiring film. I love that line where where um. I've got the name of that character, the lady now, the 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 mathematician lady says to the Kevin Costner character, "We well, are the boss, aren't you?" When it comes to her going into the meetings about the calculations for the shuttle re-entry. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you see, I'm trying not to give away too much of the plot in case you've not seen that film, Hidden Figures. Um, there were a few Oscars won, actually, for that film, and it was truly well-deserved. Such a wonderful story um, about a difficult time in, um, you know, American history in terms of civil rights, but just amazing. Amazing. Wendy loves that film, too. Ah, oh, great. Oh no, you've got a herniated disc. Oh dear. All oh, you back sufferers united. Bless you all. Right, now, let's have a look at this image. So, we've got a largish image here. And then we've got these beautiful kind of leaves. All these gorgeous different leaves. I do believe this is a distinctive style stamp so it means it, the idea is that it kind of almost looks like a photograph but it's got a kind of watercolor feel to it absolutely stunning 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 right let's think what design to go for now i'm thinking i'm going to go for um some lines so i'm going to start with the yellow start with a pale color create some of these lines and then see what happens okay Ooh. Turn it around a bit as I go. So every time I'm stamping, I'm just giving it a bit of a twist that's so not always in the same direction. Um, sometimes a little bit off the page as well. Hi, Miss Bev. Oh, you you've ordered it as well, have you? Hi, Jonathan Tipton. Hi, Navarana. Okay, so just a little bit there, maybe a little bit there. Right, so that's a bit of a yellow down. 
a look at this pattern again to see what's going on. So, get this one. Actually, I might just pop the sticker on for this because I think I do need to have a bit of an idea where this is going. So, I'm just going to quickly. So, this is the, the shinier side. Okay. So, the way I do it is I take off the whole sticker, pop it onto my block, and then take off those stickers if you haven't got a sharp you know long nail like me just use your take your pick tool or whatever sharpie sharp instrument you have and then you can just hover and get that sticker exactly where you need it So this is going to be very uh, repetitive because, I don't know, it's just sort of telling me to do that, really. Sometimes stamp sets do that. I'm just going to go for something quite repetitive because I know I'm going to be cutting this up into smaller sections and you're going to be seeing a different section each time. Um, I, I don't mind doing something a little bit more repetitive for this. Okay, quite like that. I actually do that too. Okay, let's do that. The stamp's asking me to do it, so I'm going to do it. Sometimes this happens, you know, the stamp's just going to go, this is what I want you to do. And sometimes it's nice to do something repetitive. I don't have to think about it so much. Okay, there we go. Right, that's that. That's pumpkin pie down. Right, a bit of Cajun craze now. Oh, no, I've done that one. This one. Get this sticker on this one as well, I think. Hi, Gail. You don't know what to do with yourself if you can't capture us on the light. Oh, Gloria. Oh. Well, we happy to brighten your day. Which, is a, which I presume we're doing. Hi, Sylvia. Rob bless. Oh, Sylvie. Sorry, Sylvie. <laughs> right. Oh, now where's this one going? Okay. That's where it's going. That's where it's going to go. I'm just thinking pattern, okay, guys? I'm not thinking, oh, it's got to be anything too realistic. This is just about creating a repeating pattern. Which is just fun to do sometimes. And I would say that re repetition like repetitive pattern, geometric pattern is actually something I would associate kind of with masculine cards as well. You know, men tend to like order. So, or the masculine style is usually quite ordered. So I was looking at ovens today, guys. Um, we've realised that our oven really is quite rubbish in our house. Um, recently, we've had the joy of the racks that go into the oven uh, slipping on one side. So if you put a heavy item, you know, not heavy, heavy, heavy. I just mean, you know, like, um, you know, I put some chicken in a, in a tray with some sauce and, you know, whatever. Well, it just kind of flicks down on one side, you know, real handy like. So uh, I was looking at ovens today. There are so many different types of ovens. <laughs> That's what I've come to realise. Oh, 
Right, so what have I not used? Not used this one yet. And I've not used that one either. So I have got Mary Malo ready to finish off. But um just wondering whether to pop this one somewhere while I'm thinking about it. I'm just gonna I think I'll do the sticker. So this, as I said, very repetitive. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, it would. I, I had quite good fun. I, I went to our local um, electrical goods shop, which have, which has just moved actually. So they were kind of uh, they've moved about three doors up to a much bigger shop site, and uh, it, I tell you what, it, it's it makes it a bit more fun. You know, it's much more space to look around things, and and I'm presuming they've been able to fit more products in to show which is good. So that was okay. And uh, the gentleman helping me was, was great. And he was telling me about uh, a customer who'd bought three ovens. Yep, three ovens. Stuck one on top of the other because they wanted to have enough oven space to cook Christmas dinner. I was impressed. Very impressed. Thinking if you've got... <laughs> Wow, I'm just thinking what the kitchen space must be like. So, uh, all right. And now you get these like funky self-cleaning ovens. I don't think I'll be getting one of those because they're a little bit more expensive, but they're like, you turn the heat up to like 400 and anything in there just like turns to ash. You know, anything that's, you know, you know, a bit of pepperoni that's fallen from the pizza, anything like that. Bit of, you know, splash sauce or, yeah, anything like that that would normally go all icky and sticky and yucky. You turn up the oven to 400 and it just apparently just reduces everything to ash and then you just like clear it out. So I don't know. Has anyone got one of those? Please tell me what they're like. Is it worth the money? Right. I think I'm done there. I like this. I like the little bit of white space, although I could do with a little bit of dotage in here. Let's face it, people. Like, really, they could have just done a little bit. Just a little. Because, you know, there are some little bits of dotage. I'm wondering whether just to go in again with a little bit more of this. Just like so. Just do that. There we go. All right, I'm going to stop there now. And I'm going to wipe my fingers because I felt my fingers go into the ink earlier. I know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, he said it it be, it goes up to 400 C and it's got it locks like you cannot get. I, I presume you can, it's a safety mechanism, so you cannot get into the oven when it's doing its 400 degrees business. Yes, and that was exactly the thought I had, Martina. I thought I could bake ceramics in that. <laughs> oh, Janine's got one. Oh. You shouldn't leave the racks in. They are the worst part to clean. Doors. Anyone else leave their racks in? Oh, Lindy's got one. Okay. Right. So I'm going to cut this up now to fit onto my gorgeous little panels here. But what I need to do is measure. So although I'm this was, was seven centimetres wide, I've obviously cut a bit off. So it's not that anymore. And we have this really lovely sort of faux stitched. Well, not faux stitched, but this kind of like perforated stitched effect there so i'm going to measure this and figure out where i want to stick so five centimeters would do it so i don't know whether to do five by 14 yes let's do five by 14 that's so much easier to calculate and i'm just going to grab my trimmer here 
and I'm going to cut this down to 28 centimeters just to make it easier on myself. So a nice little strip for something else. And oh, actually, I'm going to cut 14. Thank you, Brenda. To clean your racks, use dishwashing tablets for your dishwasher. What you put, you just put your racks in the dishwasher. I leave my racks in, but they be, they become dull. Oh well, yeah, I'm not, oh, I'm not too bothered what my racks look like. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Shouldn't laugh. Um. Oh, Cindy's never even used it. You have a self-clean function, but you don't use it, Cindy. Okay. Wow. Maybe this, maybe this time, for the first time, Cindy will clean her oven. Let them soak in the bath. Your actual bath. You're not supposed to leave your rack inside. Oh, you've got a steam setting. Yes, he talked about the steam setting because he said the thing with the um, these new, well, they're not new, but the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, fan assisted. He said um, some people say that their cakes don't come out moist enough. So you have to put water in, in the bottom to make the cakes moist. That's okay. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, now, I obviously, when I cut this, didn't quite get it right, but never mind. I'm just going to go with this measurement. Can you see that my, look, that doesn't quite measure up. So it may have shifted in when I cut it out, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because I've got a card to make, people. Just got to get on with it. So... You soak them in your bath. Oh... She really does soak them in the bath, everybody. Good tip, Anne Garthwaite. Just add a little extra milk when mixing the cake batter. See, Wendy is the cake maker. Well, the current cake maker, I know, on this channel. She used to make them and decorate them. Like gorgeous, gorgeous cakes. But then since she discovered Stampin' Up, she hasn't looked back, have you, love? <laughs> Don't dirty ovens cook better? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind if it was dirty, if as long as the racks didn't fall down. Oh, no, that one's not too bad. Okay, so obviously you have to maybe use two pieces of washi tape to stick down if you want it to be precise, because precision has not been my game tonight, guys. Well, welcome everybody. I can see there's 90 of you watching tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. There's in the description. If you just click on that arrow down, you'll see there's a description of my channel. There's or or rather there's links and so on, and you can subscribe there. If you want to join my Artful Stampin' community on Facebook, where people share the pictures of projects that they've done then please do that now i have had people asking about another junk journal zoom session so i will be looking in my diary to see if i can fix the day for that um now do people but just you can tell me this people particularly want a saturday because last one was on a friday and we did have quite a few join um i don't know if i can if i do do one another one on a friday um Yeah, it's a bit, it is a little bit tricky for me to do them on Fridays. But, and I am also running out of Saturdays. <laughs> so um, I might have to do it over a few sessions. So like maybe if I did one one morning, like a Wednesday morning, and then did sort of afternoon, evening, another time for other people. 
It depends if you guys in Australia want to join. Right, so I'm now going to stick this piece to there, like so. I'm just going to hold that down for a second. Okay, and then I'm going to stick then these pieces onto, yeah. Now, I know generally you don't get orangey reddish dragonflies. Oh, okay. It might be easier to stick. Oh, that's better. Okay. Right, I was just trying to figure out the best way to tell you how to do this. So it's easier to do it like this. Pop your glue. Because it's all one colour, it's getting a bit tricky to see what I'm doing, to be quite honest with you. So it's easier to just line that up there, line that there, pop that on there like that, and then rub, rub, rub. Oh, I love the look of this already. And then do the next one. I made a prototype with pad up in my cards, maybe. Oh, nice. Cindy's got me on the big screen. Is this my moment, Cindy? My moment to shine. Oh, we've got a craft fair on Saturday, Anna. Oh, fabulous. Good for you. The Thai barn in Wellingborough. If anyone is local, oh. Creative license, you can have any colour dragonflies you like. Oh, thank you. Right, so, ta-da, look at that guys, oh I'm so impressed with myself, I'm not usually a kind of 3D kind of card maker, but I've been, I've been trying to, you know, do a bit more, now will that fit in a 6 by 6 envelope or will I have to make a custom one, I wonder, oh just misses it. Oh, well, that will just have to fit into an A5 envelope. Never mind. But how cool is that? Isn't that fabulous? Right, now, of course, you can put sentiments on here. Just, oh, lay that down carefully. No, it doesn't like it doing it. It all doesn't like it. It's funny, it likes some ways, but not others. Right, I've got hello there. Sending hugs. Dear friend, how are you? Oh, no. I think I want this to be more like a birthday card. So I might get, I've got a happy birthday stamp that um, stamps downwards. And I'm wondering whether to stamp onto, I don't know, I still, I don't know. I like the idea of some dragonflies just sort of like off the edge, really. Or is that going to be a bit too much for a man's card? I don't know. Or should I, I could save the dragonflies for another day. I don't know. I don't know. Talk to me. Talk to me. I like the 5 by 7 tower card I made better than the usual size. Ah, okay. 
Well, just so that so that you know roughly what this measures then. It's a little bit broader than six inches, so it measures about six and a half by just under six. And um, yeah, it obviously takes up a different amount of space <laughs> or different proportions of space than a normal card. But that's just so cool. Love it. Yes, isn't the edging glorious? That's from the new, I'll tell you the name of this set. It's a set that goes with Eden's Garden. These are called Eden Dyes. How original. Eden Dyes. So that uh, Eden... Oh dear. Eden Dyes. I just think they've got to be so careful when they name these. There we go. Uh, where's the one that came off there? Uh... Oh, there we go. I've lost it already. Uh, it's around somewhere anyway. Right, okay. Let me just have another think about these dragonflies. Because I know I've got a bit of time. What are we up to? That, how long does that take me? 36 minutes. Um, but I did stamp a whole sh one sheet wonder and I did pre-cut those, some of these, before I came online. So let's have a loop here. I'm wondering if I stamp that with Mary Malo onto Bumblebee or Crush Coty, that was Bumblebee, you might look quite effective because I want it to kind of show up. So, Regals, let's see, have I got a spare bit of, I do have a spare bit of bumblebee, oh, I've got a whole load of tags here, that fit one, might fit two, hi Miss Gina, happy Thanksgiving to my Canadian friends. Oh, and sent her card. Yeah, there's a few cards whizzing around the world now after World Card Making Day. I've got a pile here to send out. I've also got like get well soon cards for people who are probably would be well by the time they get them. Um, but there we go. You've done an eight sided, but not a six sided. Oh, Darlene, that's quite extravagant. Oh, that might be next on my list to do. Eight sided. I think I can fit another one of these in. Ooh, mm, don't think I will. I was going to try to be clever. Hi, Jackie. Right. Oh, I like that. It kind of really shows up. That's nice. Might just cut some little baby ones as well. And just go over with. Where's my little dauber? Just do a bit of around the wings. Well, I've just remembered I've got to make a 50th birthday card for my husband's cousin's wife. Oh, that will fit. Oh, no. I wonder if I can stamp that, though. Uh, yeah, and I'm just thinking, actually, this is so delicate and pretty that I'd probably give it to a lady, you know. No, can't do that one. Oh well. Um, get a bit of crush coat here. Yeah. I'm just going to chop this in half. Yes, could do a piece of vellum over the butt. Yes, could do. I did that the other time. But I think what looks even better is if you stamp the vellum as well, Cindy. I, I did it the other day and I felt that the vellum hid the sort of the design a bit. So I 
Oh no, it's not a pre-order. It's um Oh, what do you mean do we get them early? Dawn, what do you mean? It's a special early release. It's not a pre-order. Yet yeah, no. The pre-order, do you mean the pre-orders for the mini catalog? No, that's not till December. This is a special early release and it's going to be released for customers in November. But it's released for demonstrators now october yeah it's just a kind of you know you know they just want to keep us going want to sort of tempt us you know what they like actually no, i was thinking of just doing three why am i doing this i'm just going to do some little 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 ones just get to a few of those There we go. Yes, it's on the demonstrator site, Gloria. Yeah, just it's called Eden's Garden. It should be as you sign in. You have to recover from your monster order from celebration. <laughs> I'm just doing a very light touch with my little dauber here and these are quite handy for being a bit more specific in your sponging. Oh take care Rosemary! Yeah we I think we were able to get them yeah they weren't available in America though for some reason. I don't think they they made it. Okay, so I'm just gonna like play this by ear, as it were. I'm just gonna stick them where they tell me they need to go. Okay. I think we'll alternate between um, the big ones and a couple of the smaller ones. Take care, Miss Gina. Oh, enjoy your turkey. <laughs> I'm laughing at Martina. You can be a hobby, not a hobby, a discount shopper, a happy shopper demonstrator, Martina. It will save you money. So for those of you who don't know how the whole stamping up being a demonstrator thing works, basically you can join stamping up for various reasons. You can do it if you want to do what I do, if you want to actually show people products. Now you don't have to do exactly what I do in terms of videos and things. You can, you know, just share the catalogue with a few friends and have a few friends round over a cup of tea, make a few cards and get them to, you know, show, show them the products. Or you can just purchase the products and have the discount for yourself. And then 
basically you, you there's a minimum amount that you need to kind of purchase in an, every three months but there is no penalties if you do not do that like they stampin up don't ask for anything back if you don't reach reach it you just drop from being a demonstrator which is you know it's it's painless i promise it's pretty pain free <laughs> So if you find that you're shopping and you're spending ooh, over, mm, I say, if you're spending over about £250 every three months, then you may want to consider signing up because you will probably save yourself some pennies. If you're spending about £100 a month, there we go. If you're spending £100 a month, you definitely will save money by signing up. And you will keep your demonstratorship going. Because that's absolutely smashing the monthly requirement. Or the three monthly requirement. Quarterly, that's the other word for it. Quarterly. So a lot of folks who are watching now are discount shoppers. They, they love just stamping up and they just want the discount. So, hi Cynthia. Bacon on toast for breakfast, yum. Yeah, Cindy's a happy hobbyist. I mean, some people make a lot of cards to sell or give away, so it kind of makes sense for them to do that. Right, I think I'm done. Spicy pork bulgogi. Is that how you say it, Lorraine? Bulgogi. You wish they'd lower the limits. Oh. Well, I guess the incentive is that to try and get you to share it with other people, and then if you get some friends to purchase, that will help help you reach that target. And also, you earn money. You will earn money from them, and it, you know, doesn't have to be too stressful. Kind of asking a few people. Just get those catalogs and. And give them out to your friends or even just share pictures of what you do share pictures of the kits maybe you know just get a couple of friends around and say hey do you want to come around for a night and order a couple of kits do them with me um, have a chat to your up upline perhaps um, ways in which you can do that maximize that okay so the stamp set I was thinking is this one here. Happy birthday. And I guess I could stamp it and put it on a piece of card going down that way. Um, and then you may want to leave. <laughs> I've, I've covered every panel. But uh, you might want to leave one panel to put your sentiments. Sorry, not your sentiment. To write your message on. But I don't know. There's something quite lovely about having it all decorated on every single side. And I've just had fun and I've not thought about it. <laughs> I've not thought about where we're going to write anything. But anyway, celebrate with flowers. I'm just going to show you that because it's got that lovely long sentiment there. So there we go. Right. Thank you so much for joining everybody. Um, I'm in a crafting diaspora. <laughs> you are. Yeah, and the, but the great thing, Janine, isn't it, that is there's no penalties for dropping and you can rejoin, you know, when you want to. So, you know, there's there's no kind of downside to it, I would say, apart from you, you can't, might get to save some money. But no, you shouldn't. I, I have heard people sort of almost criticising Stampin' Up! for this, having some kind of minimum order. And actually, I, I don't think they're wrong to do that. They they are a business after all, and and have to not you know not just make money for themselves, but they they've got to ensure the livelihoods of the other dem of dem all demonstrators. Um, so I would say if you're finding that you haven't got the money, just don't spend it. Don't just stop because um, you know myself and I'm sure stamping up for the last people who'd want people to go into debt over buying crafting products. I mean, it they really aren't that important. Well, let's face it. Uh, they're more important things in the world. But um, if you're finding that you are spending um, 
like I said, about a hundred pounds a month, I would say, or a hundred dollars a month, then you can save money. So, but that's between you and your bank manager, not me. <laughs> I know that does sound so cool, doesn't it? Pork bulgogi. I just, I she had me at pork, didn't she? Oh dear. It keeps me out of trouble when editing work is scarce. There we go. So Anna Anna gets on and crafts in her little hut in her garden. Wow, 110 of you watching. Oh my goodness. Does that beat? Have I or was it 124 I had to beat? It might have been 100 and I thought it was 100 and maybe it's 124. Wow. Hi everybody. Welcome. Ooh. Very exciting. 112 yay right i'm gonna go before um it, the numbers start crawling down um thank you so much you think it was more than that christine yeah i thought it might have been 124 i had that number in my head from back in oh it was just after i moved house i think that was the highest i ever got to in february so uh anyway lovely to see you all thank you so much and um, if you want to check out the tutorial that I kind of adopt, adapted for this, um, I will put a link to Sam Calcutt's blog post in the description. OK. And if you speak to her, mention that I sent you there. I don't know her personally, but she seems a very lovely lady. She's very she does a lot of uh, various tutorials and things. Awesome, Wend. Awesome. All right. Take care, everybody. Lovely to see you. And um, I will look at dates for the next. Well, there's a few classes that I, I know you guys are waiting for me to message you about. So I will sort out some class dates for that. What's one, two, four? Oh, the amount of people on the live, Darlene. Yeah, the amount of people in one time on my live. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I need to set up an event where I try and, you know, smash the record, try and get to 200 or something. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, I might have to do something special, like a special, like, event. Give me some ideas, guys. What could I do? Mind you, we're, we're up to, eight. I'm up to 8,830 subscribers, so maybe for 9,000 I'll have to plan something crazy. <laughs> I'm not shaving my head. Right. See you guys. Bye.